Okay, guys, the palace is done. Okay, this is the new sugar glider cage. And I don't know if you can tell, but there's the ceiling, there's the cage. So the cage is five feet tall by three feet deep by three feet across. No, wait, five feet tall, three and a half feet wide and three and a half feet deep, I guess. Okay, so this is a cage that you make yourself um, out of PVC pipe and uh, it's, a, it's like a um, hardware cloth, except for it's not cloth, it's made out of a, um, a plastic material and I'll put the links as to where to find that underneath this video. And then it takes well over 150 tie wraps. And you can see that you construct it all the way down. Okay, this one has one big door right here. And then what I did this evening that I just finished is I put their spider web glider pouch set in their cage set. So there's their tunnel. There's another tunnel, another pouch. This is one of the little corner things that they can run and play on. And then that right there, this is like a long one that goes from there to there. Um, two more little corner ones, another pouch. And then this shelf, it has a fleece blanket on it. And right now, because I need to order the food dishes that clap, clamp onto the cage, I had to use heavy bowls because they can't tip it over. So tonight we're having apples, peas, their BML mix, grapes, and there's one side for Pixie, one side for Dixie, and then this is a little water dish. But that's just for tonight. By this weekend they'll have their other stuff. Okay, and then up here, as you can kind of see, I have more of the little little areas that they can pouch, more little corner things, corner thing there. But again, it's got a shelf. Then down here, and I what I did is I took all these baby, 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 baby links, and I made ropes out of them. Because the actual rope rope, cotton rope, is dangerous for them because they can get their claws wrapped up in it. That's why you should only use fleece. Um, and so that's why you see all of these baby links hanging so that they can swing and play. And I've got their little pineapple hut there, which hangs from their, the, that's the bottom level. And then on the second level, I have a fleece blanket, which then I will trade out in the morning and I will wash. And I have several old fleece blankets that I bought used on eBay so that I could do that so they can run and play. So you might be asking yourself, where are they? Well, it's kind of dark, um, but they're right there. <laughs> they're up in the corner going, what the hey, old mama? Come here, babies. And so they are going to have tons of places to run and play and jump. And honestly, this is, this is the size cage that one should have for sugar gliders. And I only have two. So, um you should get the biggest cage that you can make space for and that you can afford. They are super lightweight, so you just take them out to the porch. I can lift this all by myself. And then you spray it down, sanitize it, clean it, and you put it back. Uh, in between deep cleanings, you spot clean everything and wipe it down and all that. So that is what I've been working on tonight up there. Now I got this pink fleece blanket so it kind of looked like a jungle a pink jungle for them um, and it kind of goes over the top so it doesn't feel like all wide open up there and scares them up there is their hamster ball that I'm gonna get video this week night vision of them running and playing in and tonight they're probably like I said they're staying up there in the corner because they're like what but as soon as I turn off the lights and stuff they're gonna be like Part it. Uh, um. So anyway, I wanted to show you what you what you can make for your sugar gliders, 
and what it can look like and how easy it is to decorate it and make a fun place for your sugar gliders to play. They do love to jump and they, they need that exercise and they need that. So I'm, I'm really gonna highly recommend that you, you do invest in something like this. It's not that expensive to put together. Um, and I'll show you compared to their, their day cage where they sleep. Okay, let me turn on uh, the light. Look. Ow, oh that hurt, that's gonna leave a mark. Sorry, um, this is their cage that I brought for them to, to be home with, which I think you guys have seen in my videos. And, you know, that's about the smallest I would say to go, period. And this is the Vision Cage by Hagen. Um, and it does have all of their, their pouches and all of that, and it's really easy to clean and everything, but... It ultimately, if you have one sugar glider, which again, I don't recommend just having one, they really do need a, a, a buddy. Um, but if you just have one, then this cage is fine. Um, they do have a running wheel there. I'm going to get another running wheel for the other one, but I, I don't have that today. But I did spend a lot of time getting this all ready for them so my babies can be happy and healthy. And then when daytime comes, I'm probably going to take and put them in their sleep cage during the day. So that's my video for tonight. If you have any questions on how to construct this or make a wonderful cage like this for yourself, please feel free to comment below or message me. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks.